but we've got some work to do here. 134 laps in Las Vegas, and we are green with John Hunter Nemechek leading the way on the outside. See how the oh, he cuts over to the inside row. Let's see how dusty and dirty this place races early on. Zane Smith on the outside with Matt Crafton right behind him. That's Todd Gilliland in the middle, three wide. When you go into, down into turn one, Vince, you just hope the end that doesn't stick is the front end. That back end gets around on you, it's trouble. These guys all did a nice job navigating turns one and two here on this dirty racetrack. Wow, it's way cleaner than I expected. That's going to provide traction, grip, and that's going to create this draft. Look at these guys already everywhere. 15 degrees might not sound big. It is a ton of grip. And when you're out, oh, we got a spin off four. 45 oh. gone around, and that's Chris Hacker, who is making just his second career start. Wow, he's had pretty hard contact with the outside wall. 21-year-old from Noblesville, Indiana. Yeah, tough Made break. his debut a few weeks ago at Gateway. No, I was saying like, that the way that the grip level changes with 15. Oh, he's on the inside. Somebody's to his outside. Probably took the air off. That's when you're just hoping it just slides enough to keep it from getting in the outside wall. But unfortunately, Chris went around and made contact. That uh... Then the bumps seem to smooth out, and it's mainly just because the arrow will help push the front end of the truck down. So he's just struggling a little bit with tightness. No struggle for that guy. John Hunter Nemechek wins stage one in Las Vegas. The temperatures cool off and the trucks stick better and they're going to draft and push and shove. Oh, hang on. Wow, that was some tight accident. Zane Smith is now on the struggle but when he was one pushing wow, it through. Now Creed comes around. Creed on the outside. I and think Zane Smith's got a flat. He does indeed and that's a problem for one of our oh. playoff drivers. See if he can keep it off the wall. An incredible job of saving that truck and, and persevering right now. Will he be able to get it to pit road without the, the tire coming apart? That's oh, the next question. It's coming apart. Oh, you can see there, and it's causing damage to the left rear. But it's also putting debris down. Yeah, they're going to have to throw a yellow for that. Still green, though, as Gilliland continues to lead Ben Rhodes. And the 21 of Smith still on track. There's still no yellow out. Three holes down the backstretch, I hear you. <laughs> Man, get it to pit road. That's... That's these, a tough break. Hope one of these guys don't hit that debris that has been put down. And keep your eye on John Hunter Nemechek and as well. Now the caution has come out. John Hunter Nemechek has some, some a big rub on the right front. Spots and now Nemechek. Wow, I think it's an engine issue. I just saw uh, some, some fire come out yep. of the tailpipe. Back outside the top 20 now is Nemechek and dropping. He's going to have to come in. Eric Phillips, the crew chief, the winningest crew chief in Truck Series history. And his driver, John Hunter Nemechek, with a big issue here in Stage 2. I mean, he's 18 years old. He, he doesn't know much about dirty air yet. <laughs> wow, what great battles there. You see the 15 of Tanner Gray. You mentioned he was third here a year ago, up inside the top 10 racing hard. Final lap here in stage two. Good battle there between Friesen and Creed for fourth. Meanwhile, it's Gilliland in the front, and he is going to take the stage win for the fourth time this season. And Hertzberg holds on to the high oh, side. It's the 26 oh. of Anchorman Chandler Smith. Playoff driver. Heavy damage to the left front. Oh. Haley Deegan involved. Chase Purdy as well, and there's Creed. There are playoff drivers everywhere in this mess. Wow. Wow. What a tough night for some of these championship hopefuls. Zane Smith, Nemechek, now it's Creed and Chandler Smith with issues. That is a terrible wreck. Wow, that truck is going to burn to the ground. I'm glad he's out of there. He's going over to check on, on Chandler. Look at the back of that 18 truck. It's gone. Wow. Who, what, where, why, and how did all that start? I have no idea right now. It's one of the toughest wrecks I've seen at Vegas for a while. Haley Deegan with significant damage on the right side as well. Crew on hand to put out the fire on the Sheldon Creed truck. This is crazy. Championship implications.
Tyler Ankrum with a strong run in that 26 truck and away that went. I tell you, these restarts at Vegas, this is one of the toughest mile and a half to predict which lane you need. You know, of course the high side is going to be preferred, but everybody wants to get there and, and like you just, there's too many trucks in one spot. And you know what just happened, Vince? Zane, Zane Smith said, what, what just happened? Yeah. I mean, he's still running around this racetrack. He's 18 laps down. But this is big for that team. You can see, I think Ankrum just gets loose. And John Hunter Nemechek as well, who's a couple of laps off the pace. And then watch, Smith tries to squeeze through the top. You just simply can't change directions running 180 miles an hour, Kurt. He had nowhere to go. He committed oh, to the man. top. Creed just, wow, that was a huge hit. Yeah, Creed must have saw something different, wanted to cut to the low side. To, to get away from all this mess, and it was just a bad decision. But yeah, like you said, Mikey, like when your truck is committed and loaded up into the banking, it is very difficult to change directions. That's crazy. We had five drivers in the playoffs finish outside the top 20 at Gateway early in the playoffs, and we're looking like a similar type situation tonight because we have had four drivers in the playoffs with big problems. Watch it from the perspective of Sheldon Creed. This will make you cringe. He's the wreck up ahead. He's like, I'm just going to commit low. You know, there's a chance that he couldn't see through that smoke. Yeah, these lap times that were just a, a standard 32 seconds, they feel like 64. Uh -huh. oh, oh, there's the caution, and it's Drew Dollar in the 51. Just when we thought it was going to get strung out. Exactly what Gilliland didn't want, just as we were talking about uh, the situations that could present themselves. Jack Wood in the 24 involved as well. Jack Wood's on the lead lap, so... Um Gillen had lapped up to the 16th position, Vince, so making his way through these trucks, and for some reason, into the wall went wood. Incident already in progress as we pick it up here on the replay. and Looked like wood had already hit the wall, and maybe Dollar was trying to avoid, I don't know, it's hard to tell, but trouble for both those racers. Wood maybe first. <laughs> He's probably got a loose wheel or something. Yeah, and he's 10th. He's 18 years old, Kurt. He's probably not had many loose wheels and knows exactly what it is, but he reacted. He's going to bring it to pit road. Oh! And that's going to bring out the caution. I don't know. He's off the track. Oh, yeah, caution out. is out. Man, that's a blessing in disguise for the yellow to come out, and then he's going to head back out there. Well, hopefully he's able to cash in on. That was a veteran move, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Did I say he was 18 years old? <laughs> Let's see if we think that maybe he just lost control. Maybe. What do you think, Kurt? I mean, you're down to second gear and, and, and wheel hopped, or I think he wheel hopped it, trying to get it slowed up for pit road. Trying to get up and challenge. Look at Friesen working the bottom, trying to get back in contention. Wasn't a great restart for Stewart, but he's battling hard down on the bottom. Two laps left. Rhodes for second on Crafton, his teammate on the inside. That's Gilliland behind Crafton in fourth. Friesen right there as well. Rhodes takes second from Crafton. Can they draft up and catch Christian Eckes? What a great job by this young racer. All three at the front are Thor Sport machines. Eckes on a part-time schedule has taken the white. There's one lap left. Johnny, Christian Eckes. Johnny Sauter's on those new tires, Vince. You talked about he went to pit road. Here he comes. It's a Thor Sport party at the front. One, two, three, four for Thor Sport. Can Eckes hold off Rhodes? Then Rhodes, one of those in the championship hunt. Can he get the win tonight here at Vegas? Throw it to the high side, buddy. See oh, and the it. caution comes out with Eckes in front. And Christian Eckes will win because the white flag had already come out. And it will be Eckes getting his first career win. I am stunned. That's amazing. Very impressive. Wow. Did, did we think that that was going to happen? Not one ounce <laughs> did we think that that was going to happen. Impressive. One, two, three, four for Thor Sport. For the first time in Truck Series history, 
The same team takes the top four spots. Vince, I'm friends with uh, Christian's dad, George, and I raced, I raced go karts uh, with Christian a little bit a few years back. A kid that just loves racing, and to see the success this this young man is having, and 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 while all that George and his family's put into Christian's career, this is beautiful. 20 year old from Greenville, New York, J. Rod Prince, who had been the truck chief on the 88 is the crew chief on this 98 truck, and it's his first year as crew chief. So a big win for J-Rod as well. And Eckes with his first career win, and what a celebration. It'll be in the Thor Sport camp tonight. One, two, three, four. That is amazing. Well, I don't know what kind of odds you would have gotten on that tonight here in Vegas, but... Uh... I hope you put a put a nickel on it. <laughs> I'm with you, Vince. Like, that was out of nowhere. And it, yet, at the same time, it's like those trucks all came to the front right at the end. And they knew they had a plan. You That's know a, you know what I love, Vince? He got heated up by Ben Rhodes. But Christian Eckes never, never bobbled, never wavered. And he drove that truck straight to Victory Lane. And, man, Vegas and Victory Lane, that's got to feel great. Jamie Little with the winner. For the second straight week in a row, we have a first-time winner, a rookie in the truck series. Christian, I know for a guy like yourself, running in the truck series, and part-time nonetheless, how difficult is it to race in this series and finally to get it done? Uh, you can look at my uh, racing reference to see how bad it is and how tough it is. So. Man, this is uh, this is big. It's it's uh, it's been a it's been a tough year. Um, yeah, that's that's all I gotta say. It's it's been a tough year since last November. Uh, hopefully, I proved I can still do this. What does it mean to you and this team, and knowing what you've been through on a different team this year, to prove that you still have it, like you said? Yeah, I think so. Um, just huge thanks to Curb Records, Thor Sport, um, Duke and Rhonda. Um, I'm speechless. Like I said, it's, it's been a rough year. It's been a lot of uh, it's been a rough year. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.